My name is Frank Sun. I grew up in Texas. I uh, went to the University of Texas at Austin for my undergraduate degree in electrical engineering. Um, and then I went to the University of Washington for my master's degree in electrical engineering, which upon return to the United States, I will continue with my doctorate uh, research. I came to Belgium on a Fulbright grant. Um, originally, the Fulbright grant idea started when I was still an undergrad, but uh, kind of got put on hold once I got into graduate school. Then th the idea never went away, and I really wanted to experience life in a different country or a different continent altogether because I spent my childhood in Taiwan and then my teenage years in college in the States. Um, those experiences made me very curious about life in different places. Um, I would like to, you know, the idea was I would like to get a comparison of what it's like to live in Asia, to live in like, America, and to live in Europe. But while I still do something useful for my uh, educational career. So Fulbright serves those two purposes very well. It allows you to uh, spend some time abroad, but also to continue with your research that's relevant to your degree. So, um, I, and I'm very lucky to um, have the opportunity to receive this uh, scholarship to come to Belgium. You start, of course, with you have to write a personal statement and you have to write a research statement. Um, and I think, I believe the biggest key is to find a sponsor um, at the host uh, country. Um, and that process for graduate students like myself usually starts with your advisor at your home institution. You know, you talk to him or her about who they know in the various countries and who might be able to supervise your research or at least sponsor your research and provide enough resource for you to be successful in because one year really or nine months usually for the Fulbright is really a short amount of time uh, especially for science and engineering related projects you you will be extremely lucky if you complete something uh, from the beginning to the end um, so it, it's critical that you find a place a, a school or an institution that has the resource required and expertise, expertise required. So you talk to your advisor, and uh, fortunately my advisor back in University of Washington is very well known, I guess. Um, so he has a lot of friends in Europe who are also professors, uh, very respected professors in various fields. I originally considered uh, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Italy, but my advisor said if I go to Italy, I would just have a year of vacation and do nothing. So. Um, and Belgium poses to be a, a poised to be a very strong uh, research focus in the field of um, electrical engineering because um, there is a government-sponsored institution called IMEC in Leuven. They are probably by far the number one. I wouldn't call them a government affiliated, but research institution in Europe for semiconductor um, research. So. Once I locate uh, my sponsor at the Catholic University of Leuven, then it begins with devising a research proposal that is reasonable for the duration. I, I believe the Fulbright Committee, when they reviewed the, um, or at least in the outline of the instructions, says it's very important that you tell them how or what you're going to do and how you're going to do that in nine months. So that's that's, I think one of the most critical elements is you can't just say I want to do X, Y, Z and not tell them how you're going to do it in the appropriate amount of time. Then comes to the personal statement. I think the personal statement is very, you, you, you have a lot of room to be creative in that area. But um, from what I was told um, by my interview committee uh, at the at University of Washington is that they, they, they want to see that you have a desire to not only go there to do your research, but also to go to that particular country you're going to and exchange w everything about you to everything about the people there. Um, whether it's your heritage, whether it's your political views, whether it's your hobby, interests, anything ranging that's personal to uh, on a more larger scale, you know, your political identities or your, your view on the world economy, how it is breaking down, you know. So, so all of this um, should go into your personal statement 
for me, I, I strongly pushed the fact that I really wanted to experience life on three different continents so that I can say, you know, what, like for example, when I moved to the US, I, I could tell myself what I missed about Asia and what was good and what was bad. When you were always in one place and you never had a comparison, you really don't know how good you have it or how bad you have it. Uh, if you're thinking, don't just do it. Because Fulbright is a once in a lifetime opp opportunity and especially recommend Belgium because you know you got mussels, waffles, <laughs> beer, chocolate. I don't know how life can be any better.